<sighs> Honestly, folks, I don't know whether to be angry or happy or excited or any of that. I really don't know what to say to this one. Today's discussion is going to be, is Square Enix pushing too hard on this? Like, seriously, are they pushing it? Okay, so first of all, let's break it down of what we know about Final Fantasy XV thus far. We know about the game that has been in development for 10 years now. We know that the game was supposed to be linked with 13. But no evidence of that. It was just a beta name, for all we know. We also know that now is coming out this September 30th. We also know that it had an Ultimate Collector's Edition, a, a Deluxe Collector's Edition, as well as a regular edition. It's also got its own anime, movie, and two other title games along with a VR. We also know that it has sold over a million copies. That is impressive. The fact that Square Enix has created a universe as well as sold incredibly in pre-orders. That is to be recognized. That is to be acknowledged. That is to be hyped up for and excited for. This news, however, is showing that Square Enix is just pushing it just a bit. How much a bit? Well, get ready for this first part of the news. Recently, they've uploaded a trailer, and this is Square Enix trailer, mind you, of a special event. If you pre-order any edition of Final Fantasy XV, any pre-order from the Square Enix main website, any pre-order that is made and done through Square Enix's website are registered for a special event called the Carbuncle Surprise. What does this entail? Basically, you pre-order any of the following three, whether it be Day One Edition, whether it be the Deluxe Edition, which involved both the game and the movie, or the Ultimate Collector's Edition, which ran for, what, 30,000 copies, I think it was, and sold out immediately. <laughs> it involved with the figure, the movie, the anime, the CD, you get the gist. I've talked about it before. If you want more info, check out my previous videos. But... If you order any pre-order any of the three editions of Final Fantasy XV, you are automatically registered a chance for the Carbuncle Surprise, which involves every Friday, up until the game's release, every Friday, you click on Carbuncle to get a chance to be registered for a chance of the following prizes. What are those prizes? They are either one of the action figures, being that of the obvious uh, Notch, GLaDOS, Inkness, and Prompto, whichever one of your choice, I imagine, because if you had the Ultimate Collector's Edition, chances are it would be kind of weird to have two Notches, which I'm not sure. I'm not an expert at that part, but well, who knows what they did. They also said that you would be able to be entitled to get any accessory, being that Apollo, closing accessories, whatever you want to call them, a Final Fantasy XV merchandise, uh, a DLC of a cl of a of a paint job on the car, featuring Cindy the mechanic, and I think I think that was it, if I'm not mistaken. Originally, I wasn't going to do a discussion for that one. I was like, you know what? This seems a little unusual. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't do a discussion video on this one. And then I saw another one, and I was like, okay, I'm doing a discussion video, because this is pushing it too far. But, uh, yeah, it just the carbuncle surprise thing was a little bit of a stretch for me. I'm like, why are you doing this, Square Enix? You've already got over a million pre-orders now. You do realize that there are that many people you have to look through your history just to offer that, right? 
it gets worse. Well, I don't know about worse. It depends on your predicament. Maybe you're excited about it, maybe you're not. But, Kingsglaive, the movie Kingsglaive, is going to be having a theoretical release. Yes, it's going to be in theaters. August 19th. In select theaters, though. Which, the problem with me is that my theater is not registered under the selective few. Which kind of makes sense, because there's not a lot of people here in Crossville alone. But I don't want to go 30, mi 30 minutes or, let's see, 20, 30 miles just to go to another theater that has the showing. That, that's too far of a way for me. I mean, I want to, but I'm not going to, because I can't. Even if I wanted to, I can't, because that's on a day that it gets released, on a Friday, which, unfortunately, I have to work. Damn it. But there's more. Yes, there's more. It is going to be available, digitally downloaded. It is going to be available August 30th. Which means 11 days after it gets released in selected theaters, which I'd say it's a one day only few, that people get to download it on any following website. I'm guessing Amazon will be one of them where they have the digital download and all that stuff, and then you can watch it either on your phone, your iPad, PlayStation 4, whatever. Just however it works, I'm guessing. And I'm just. I saw this news and I'm like. Square Enix, let's have a sit-down discussion, shall we? <laughs> let's have an intervention. Intervention, okay? We we know we know we know it's coming out. We know it is popular discussion. We know people are excited for the game for good reason because there's a lot of people who have been waiting for this game, and there is reason to be happy for it because you've got a lot more of a selection with it. You've also got the anime, you've got the movie, you've got a cell phone app, you've got a VR thing, you've also got another game that comes along with the game. And I'm like, this is great, this is awesome, you're putting out games, you're doing what a game company should do. It's ban on the game, making more games and making people happy because they're playing more games. Yes, this is good. Do not shove it in their faces! Holy crap! I mean, yes, yes, don't get me wrong, advertisements is one thing, but to practically hand out prizes and then to have an early access movie which is supposed to be released along with the game September 30th! But then they've got a movie in theaters for this! They're the same one is going to be in theaters ni August 19th, and then they're going to have it available for the digital download August 30th. I'm just, I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? It's like Square Enix. You're going out of hand. You're getting crazy. You're, you're losing your mind. Just, holy crap. I'm like, what? Really? What? What? Just... Uh, again, I don't know if I want to be angry. I don't know if I want to be happy about it. I don't know if I'm just losing my mind. It just... I don't know. It just... I was like, okay, Square Enix, you kind of... You're, you're going overboard with this. You are. Next thing I'll hear is that you get to have exclusive preview or exclusive visits with the main creator of the team or something. Or I don't know. Actually, I wouldn't, it would not surprise me if the next couple of weeks, like, literally a month before the game gets released, they say, oh, and we have a special drawing. If you want to meet the team, now's your chance. Register now in your local GameStop or even Amazon or even fucking Square Enix. I don't fucking know. It's like, what? It's like, can't we just have what you've already gave us? Yes, I know. There's a lot of people who are excited about this. I know. We all we all know. It just, ugh. <laughs> ugh. 
You're killing me with this shit. But yeah, it's just... Yeah, Carbuncle Surprise and then the movie being released in theaters early. Just, I... I, I don't know. I really... I really don't know what to say. I just, I'm... I don't know. But what do you think? Do you think Square Enix are kind of pushing the... However the phrase is, uh... Munching on the... Whatever the phrase is, they're pushing their... They're pushing it too far, I think. I think they are. But what do you think? Do you think maybe it's a good thing? The fact that, you know, people have a chance to earn prizes? The fact that people can see the movie early? Or do you think that Square Enix is kind of... Pushing this game a little bit far out than they should have, you know? I mean... I, I'm kind of curious about it, because to me, they're kind of going out of their way just to do this. It just seems weird to me, but anyway, though, I just feel like talking about this because I was like, damn, Square Enix, you're kind of pushing it. Like, seriously, you are really pushing it. But anyway, though, if you want to check them out, the tr uh, the the Carbuncle Surprise video tr uh, preview will be down in the description below. As well as a news article about the Final Fantasy XV movie being released in theaters. Go check it out. What do you think? I just think they're pushing it a little bit too far. I think so anyway. But I'm still going to wait until the movie comes out when I get the game. Along with the other game that comes with it. And then of course there's the anime series that I've been following on their YouTube channel. Which is actually really good. You should check that out. In fact... I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description for you below for the Final Fantasy XV YouTube channel so that way you can check out Brotherhood because they have released episode 1, 2, and 3 out right now. Record, they are in Japanese, uh, Japanese, uh, uh, ja uh, Japanese, but they do have an English dub, or not English, they don't have an English dub, English subs is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but I figured, you know what, more Final Fantasy XV for you guys, you know, if you want to check out their, uh, Anime Brotherhood, there it is in the des uh, description for you, and as well the other two things. So, thank you so much. Again, let me know what you think in the description below, and let me know about what you are excited about. What are you excited about Final Fantasy XV? Because, hell, I'm excited about it all. <laughs> really, I am. I'm just, record, I won't have access to the phone now, but everything else I'm very excited for. Record, everything else I'm kind of ticked off about, but that's another subject. But anyway, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Black Cross, I'm here off. Take care, guys.